Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, today, we just went over and we installed our software for the Rover, um, Renji Rover MPPT ch charge controller. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, so now I wanna show you guys kinda how it works. Um, we set up the communication, we set up the parameters. If you wanna do a load configuration on this, you can go here and you can go station ID, which is over here again. Um, rover one, device one, and you can do turn on the light and everything else, or you can go to the charge controller, the, the actual one that we have, and you can do it there as well. Um, but this is, if you want to set it up for, it's, it's self-explanatory. I mean, even in the, in the user manual, um, just go to the help section right here. Click on the user manual. It's a great piece of information. It'll answer a lot of your questions. Um, like I said before, they digress, they segue into different things, so you'll have to go back. Some sections up here uh, collate with some sections down here. So it's you have to read through the whole thing. Um, just don't give up. Uh, monitoring. Let's go to monitoring now. Real-time monitoring. So we're on real-time monitoring. This is the page that you see. We're going to click on Rover 1, that's the name I made, Device 1, and let's start monitoring. If you go down here to the, the communications port, you can see that it's starting to monitor and what time it uh, logged in and everything else. Um, right now, this is at 2.44 on the 24th. Yeah, 2.44 on the 24th. So it's just a couple dates. Um, after the winter, winter solstice. So the sun's coming out. I do have a, about 85% an overcast skies. As you guys can tell, 19.2, um, it'll drop down. I'm in floating right now because my battery's at 100. And it says float right here. Um, battery temp. I mean, this is just great. It's working. Everything's perfectly fine on it. Now, if I want to go to the daily monitoring, this is this was the real time real time monitoring. And this is the daily monitoring. Now, whenever you plug in your computer, it has to be plugged in to get these. You can see, like, I went behind a cloud right here. I was getting very good sunlight, and I went behind a cloud. And after a while, you'll be able to see more. It updates, I believe, every minute, um, or maybe less than that, maybe 15 seconds. I'm not sure on how how it does. This is my current, come on tab, click on my current tab, so you can see the battery, the load, and everything else, um, the power, the watts. And whenever you make adjustments, that's that's another thing. This is This is right here, skewed. I should say, um, whenever you make your, like say this is on and you're making different re refresh stations or different parameter, different devices, different controller, anything with the configurations and stuff, it's always going to have these, these crazy up and down marks. Um, but the nice gentle ones, even though this is kind of a big, big swipe, um, that's just because you're, you're, uh, cloud cover or shadows or whatever you want to talk about. Um, minimum vet battery voltage, that's set up in your parameters. The parameter value over here again, oops, up here, and then you go um, to control. Remember how I said you'd have to change that on your text? You'd have to, you'd have to write a text file, uh, txt, um, and change all your parameters. I'm not going to do that right now. And the reason why I'm not going to do that is because I use a gel battery. But once I get more batteries, I will do so. Um, power. Max charging power to, for today so far has been 246. Discharge power. Um, current maximum. Current 19 amps. Um, maximum battery voltage. This is on my battery. This is the the um discharge so now i go to global monitoring when they say global monitoring 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm was looking, wasn't looking at my phone. Um, or I was looking at my phone. But when you go to, when I say to go to global monitoring, which this one says right up here, let's see. And you click on it, it doesn't mean like the whole world. It means you and your station at your place, wherever you're at. So this doesn't have a word wrap, so I have to go down here, scroll over a little bit. Okay, total work days, this has been on. I've been using it for three weeks. Um, this is in the middle of winter, heart of the winter. Um, we've created it uh, 6.86 6 um, 6 kilowatts total since I've made it. Um, the battery has been fully charged 16 out of 21 times. We have had overcast skies. Even though it says the battery has only been uh, charged 16 out of 21 times, uh, I know the battery has been fully charged more than that. Um, there was two days that I had to use the the um, battery charger and a generator to, ch to fully charge it up. And we... The reason why is even though it was overcast skies and we usually get it like today is an overcast sky we usually get it fully charged by 10 o'clock in the morning on dead middle of winter um but the problem is that we're having is when it snows or it rains it really really dulls it down it's just not the cloud cover is not bad but when you get the snow and the rain that's when everything it doesn't it's it's good it's great guys i've i've saved so much on gas and everything else um, but charging status, float, normal, everything else. Now this is your history monitoring, station name. Um, I want to show you guys, this is kind of weird. History from, how about 21 days ago? And then I'll go to read. Watch this. It logs, it. even though this hasn't been connected all the time, it still logs. See? And if I wanted to go to curves, item selection, minimum, um, maximum charge and power. Let's just use that one. Look at that. It's for all the days, 21 days. This is the maximum charging power of watts. What I've gotten. Remember guys, this is like, <laughs> um, this is the middle of winter. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Uh, one of my, one of my uh, comments on my videos was, how many watts do you get and everything else off that 400 watt? We use a poly, um, polycrystalline, not a, um, monocrystalline we're in in iowa uh north side of iowa north below the minnesota border and um cloudy days snowy overcast skies most of them and we're still producing some days like these days were the days that we had an overcast came through and we only got 30 40 watts per hour on those days um, so we can go charging of amp hours. So I mean, we got 46 here. So it's pretty, it's pretty good software though, guys. It really is. Instagram. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys learned something. Um, I hope Renergy likes what I did for them. If they didn't, or if they need to contact me, please contact me. We can talk about it, and I can change some things around, or they can teach me some more. It's always awesome to learn more things. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hello, my new subscribers. Hello, my old ones. Uh, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy and Safe New Year.